this time on Dirty Curdy Customs, we get the forgotten Ford back on the road. So today, we're gonna get back on the world's cheapest resto mod. Yep, the forgotten Ford is back and we're gonna do a little more cutting on it. We're gonna do some leveling, hopefully start welding this thing up, maybe drive it by the end of the video. So welcome to Dirty Curdy Customs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna pull this front clip back off and I'm going to move this the bottom of this radiator in and I'm going to cut these frame horns down a little bit so we can get all of this moved back more. I don't like, we're not quite centered in the wheel well, we're close, but I got the cab too far forward. So I'm going to move the cab back. I'm going to do some trimming in here where the original gas tank for the 68 Ford went. We're going to cut that out and we're just going to try to get this thing placed on here level we want to get it as level as we can the thing isn't dog walking all over the place when you're going down the road and stuff so i'm gonna get on that it's hot today but we're gonna get down and just get to work hopefully we can get this body welded on i did end up trading some parts from the supra some leftover parts for a welder it's just a 110 welder but it should be good enough for sheet metal so and it was essentially free i guess you could say it was a trade for parts that we didn't need so we'll get to work on this and see how things go So these two bolts right here, what I'll do is take these bolts out, move this bracket and just have it held on with one bolt. And then if I really want to, I can drill another hole through the frame. So that should move this back, give me enough clearance to chop this horn off. So pull these out. Okay, got this bracket moved back a bolt. And like I said, I could probably drill another hole up through here if I want to get another bolt on, but it moved this back a little. So now we can cut some more of this off, make more clearance. I did have to, this bracket, it comes off, goes down around the radiator, back up and around here. I just, I had to take it off and just bend these out a little bit and it worked good. So next, time to cut. Frame horns are moved back more. 
So now I'm gonna pull this seat out over here and I gotta unbolt that seat over there, get these seats out, start cutting this out here. And then we should be able to get the body wherever we want it. So I'm gonna pull these seats. Here we go. I'm gonna shoot sparks right at me. making progress got this side out got down to here got to get the rest of this corner out this this support is not very easy but we're gonna get it out okay I have got the cross piece out of there and I moved the cab back maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch I had this level with this before so yeah maybe an inch so I move that back. I want to put the front clip back on and see what it looks like. Once I get it where I want forward and back, then I can start measuring side to side, up and down, all that stuff to get it level. And then we can start tacking some sheet metal into place. So I gotta go find some help to get this front clip on. Okay, so before I put the front clip on, I realized that I'm sitting too high up in the front. So I'm gonna have to take some of this corner off. I'm probably gonna pull this plastic piece out. Um, so take some of this corner, take some of that corner so the front will sit down lower and then we'll put the front clip on. Okay, so we got the cab where we wanted it, and look at that, the front wheel is pretty much centered. It's, it's where I want it. It looks really good. This line looks really good. It could possibly come down a little up here, but look at this. I've been fighting this and just tons of rust falling out of this hood, falling all over me wrestling this thing on but yeah that looks much better and I've already got a few pieces tacked in um, welded in so the cab is where it's gonna be it's, so now we just gotta pull the front clip back off and permanently weld this whole thing up it's gonna be a lot of welding uh, I'm out of gas right now so uh, I found like a little roll of flux core and that's what I used to tack it in this is the uh, welder that I traded for just a little Hobart so I got to get gas hooked up to it so we can burn this whole thing in I don't really want to I don't want to do it with flux core so anyways need to start cutting sheet metal all for here I think I'm going to turn in for the night and uh, once I go run to town and get some gas, we'll start back up on this thing. Yeah. Well, needed some sheet metal to start cutting up some uh, templates, making some pieces for that truck. So 
we use the Crown Vic, which my scrap guy still hasn't came and got. Come on, scrap guy. I want this out of here. But luckily he didn't. Now we got some good sheet metal. All right, I got a tank of uh, 7525 mix. It's 75 argon, 25 CO2. So I'm gonna set up this little welder to run gas. So I have to switch the polarity. That's these two terminals right here. Um, I believe you want the terminal that goes to the gun on the positive and then the ground to your negative. And that's a uh, reverse polarity or DCEP. Um, so that's what you need to set this up for gas. So I got a little hose, got my tank, I got a regulator, I got some solid core wire. Yeah, here's a little illustration. Um, cable to gun goes to the positive, work cable to the negative for DCEP. So that's how you set up a little wire feed or a MIG welder for gas. So I'm going to get these switched and uh, get the gas line hooked up. And then I need to start cutting some pieces. So I have the sheet metal I cut off the roof of the Crown Vic. I'll start making some templates out of cardboard and we'll start welding her in. All right, I got some gas hooked up to the little Hobart. And I think we're ready to try this. I got a piece cut out. First piece trimmed up. Gonna go in there, we're gonna have this piece comes up, one that goes across the top. So, get ready to try this. Gonna weld it, gonna weld it. I guess I gotta plug it in first. <laughs> So I didn't like my first attempt. I didn't clean up the paint enough. I thought I did. I didn't prep the surface good enough. So it was stuck on there, but not very well. So I ripped it off, ground everything all down. Uh, I got the welder dialed in where I want it. So uh, take number two, let's try this again. So as you can see, this is where I was cutting, ground all the old stuff off. I prepped this better and it's just sticking a lot better. It's tacking up a lot better. So I got my wire speed. It's way stronger. I had some big old boogered welds on here and they weren't even holding. And I just have some little tiny spot welds across here and it's stuck on there really good. So. I think I got it dialed in where I want it. Now I just gotta go around and finish this. Like I said, I'm gonna cut my next piece. Should turn out pretty good. I'll get all this tacked in and try to sand it down as much as I can, smooth it out, and then we'll paint all this probably black. I don't know, maybe white, since the bottom of the truck's white. So we'll see, but I think now it's just gonna be cutting pieces, welding them in, prepping our surface good enough. I don't know, I like it though. All right, I got another panel put in, tacked in. I got this all tacked in. Still need a lot of finishing to do, but I just want to get all my pieces made and put in. And then, uh, and then we can go through and weld it up solid. Try to make it look pretty. Prettier so far, though. 
working good. I was able to make this all one solid piece pretty much. Um, there's a couple gaps up in here around the hump that I'll probably have to put in some little filler pieces, but it's working good so far. Looking good. Going to just keep, keep at it. Yeah, you can see over here we're getting good penetration. And you can see some of my gaps. There's a couple little gaps down here. There was like this this rubber stuff on the floor. I don't know. I'm not talking about this rubber floor mat. Uh, they put it in most cars. It's like kind of like a rubber insulation stuff that I had to grind up so I could get down to the bare metal. And I had already had my piece made with that stuff in. Then I ground it out. So now I have some gaps, but not a big deal. We'll fill them in. Should work out good. I'm having to I'm kind of welding this up solid down here. And uh, if you're here to make fun of my welds, uh, I guess go ahead and put it in the comments. I don't really care. As long as it's strong, I don't care really how bad it looks. We're going to try to sand some of this down. We had some rain, so this got a little rusty. But sand it down, paint it up, make it strong, make it last. That's all I care about. We'll seam seal some of this stuff, so... I'm going to get back to work. I still got to make the panels for this side. I still have a lot of material from the roof. And then I got to pull the front clip off and weld up some of this. I think I, you can see the piece that I did with uh, the flux core. I guess you really can't. There it is right up there. Yeah, and it looks really bad. Really bad. Why I didn't want to do a flux core. Not a fan of flux core. So... We will get on this. I'm going to get the rest of this put in. And then we'll pull the front clip off and start doing that. But it's looking good. Truck's looking good. Hopefully be driving it here pretty soon. If you guys have any tips on uh, if you see me doing anything wrong have any tips on welding let me know in the comments below I'm not much of a welder never done any classes for welding so not very experienced but I kind of know what I'm doing I, I have a lot of experience with uh, arc welding stick welding I've done that a lot uh, at a job I used to work at working on heavy equipment running heavy equipment working on heavy equipment but not too familiar with the MIG stuff. Uh, I've had a I've had a MIG welder before, but didn't use it a lot. So if you guys see anything I'm doing wrong or have any tips, comment down below. Let me know. I'm probably gonna weld up this bottom panel with the gaps a little more solid. Not just going to tack it like this top panel. Once I get a bed on this truck, you're never going to see any of this. So it doesn't really matter. But I don't want to warp a bunch of this. But the bottom section definitely needs to be welded in solid. I, I want this to be strong. So let me try that now. Batter. <coughs> Ooh, we got fire underneath. Yeah. Oh, there is something underneath. This rubber mat, it's on fire. Ah. <coughs> Ooh. Forgot that was under there, and this thing has oil. It's oil soaked. My bad. All right got this piece tacked in I did a bunch of work under these fenders I took the front clip off and got a bunch of stuff welded up in there and I got everything hooked back up so I think we're gonna take this for a drive uh, I don't have a passenger door on it yet because I want to go get those hinges from that other truck so 
I think it's strong enough to drive now. Let's see what it'll do. All right, I haven't done anything up here yet, um, but that'll come. And you can't really see out of this windshield, but let's see if this baby still starts. I cut the mufflers off too, it's still pretty quiet. It's high. I'm gonna have to make the seat higher, I think. I don't even have the seat bolted in. stiff in the back without any weight on it but it's a lot lighter than the Crown Vic was you can tell it's gonna be awesome though this thing is awesome I love it put some loud exhaust on it oh yeah sounds like I got a low power steering this thing's been sitting for a minute Bump, holding up over the speed bumps. Hopefully the fan's still hooked up. We got a lot more lights on the dash. Check engine light. I don't know, hopefully the fan's still running. Oil pressure's good, volts good, temp good so far. Still chirps them. Going by the Pallet Palace down here. Got some tweaks at the end of the road. I mean, people who like to use crystal methamphetamine. See if this old girl will still do a burnout. <laughs> on this gravel. It's good. Good test for my welds. Holding up so far. Back to the mansion. Uh-huh. Neighbors checking us out. Oh yeah, they are. You like them spinning tires, do you? 
All right, well, it survived. It survived the first trip. All my welds held up. Still got a lot of finished welding to do. Got to make some more plates for the front, but it is roadworthy somewhat. Now I got to find a bed for this thing, figure out what to do with the dash, get a windshield, maybe some different seats. I don't know. Maybe try to put an old bench seat in it. We'll see. Looking good though. Looking good. Lowrider. Well, we did it. We got this old forgotten Ford back on the road, welded onto the Crown Vic chassis. We still got a lot of things to do to this. I mean, just like every other project around here, they're never finished. But it's back on the road. That was our goal for this video. So if you want to see more of this and the other projects we do, check us out on Dirty Curdy Customs.